Okay, so everyone on Bucky's room was telling me that my font was too small. So this is my new font. Hopefully it isn't too big. It's kind of big when I'm just, you know, kind of like looking at it on the screen. But hopefully, um, I think a lot of you guys had smaller resolution monitors. So even when you stretch it out to 1080, the video was still kind of small. So hopefully um, that's a good size. If it's not, then just leave a comment and I'll read them and adjust it appropriately. But anyways, in this video, I'm going to show you how to read and write files. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be creating a file first and then I'll show you guys how to read from it. So to create a file, the first thing we need is a file object. You can just name it any variable. I'm going to name it FW for file write. In other words, file create. So what you do is you set this equal to this function. Open and what this is going to do is it's going to open a file or pretty much prepare a file to be created or written. So the first parameter it takes is the name of the file. What do you want to name this file that you're creating? Well, I'll just name it sample.txt. We'll create a very simple text file. Now the next parameter after this, it's going to take a couple different characters. If you watch my C tutorials, then you guys are um, already familiar with all of these. But for this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys W and R. The first one's W, which means open a file and write to it. So since this file isn't created yet, it's going to open it and create it. And what write means is it prepares us to write text to it. So of course, it's a text file. Let's add some text to it. Now, anytime you actually work with a file, the first thing you do is you use your file object. Mine's name FW. And then you write, what do you want to do with that file? Well, there are a couple different functions, as you can see. But what we're going to do is just write to it. Basically, um, it's like the equivalent of typing on it. Simple enough. And of course, what do you want to write? So writing some stuff in my text file. And also what you can do, just like whenever you print out a string, you can use a special character backslash n, and that would move to a new line on your file. Pretty sweet. So now, since we're on a new line, we'll go ahead and write something else. FW, which is our file, sample text, and write something else on this line. And we'll just write, like, I like. Can you type, Bucky? Bacon. And actually, we could just put this all on one line, but I just wanted to uh, demonstrate that. Um, I don't know. This is just a cool way to do it. All right. So whenever we're done working with a file, what we need to do is we need to close our file object. So fw dot close. Now this doesn't take any parameters. What it does is it basically just frees up um, that extra memory so you aren't wasting it. So this object just isn't sitting around in your computer. So now, as you can see, oh yeah, by the way, I deleted that image from the last tutorial just because, I don't know, it was making some clutter. So right now, whenever we create this file by running this program, you're going to see a new file appear right here. So keep your eye on this whenever I run this. See that? How it just popped up? Now let's double click it and check it out. So what it did is it wrote this line first and then this line and then it bumped down to a new line. Pretty sweet. So that is how you create files in Python. So now that we know how to write files or create them, let me show you how to read them. So in order to read a file, you of course need uh, another file object and I'm just gonna name this one fr for file read. You can actually name anything you want but fr is just easy for me to remember. Now again this is just an object that pretty much represents a file so we need to open some file and it's gonna look familiar. We'll open sample.txt so this pretty much says okay we're working with this file and then we need to tell Python what we want to do with it. Well we want to read it we're not creating anything, we just want to read data from it. So the character for that is R. So now, whenever we read all of this data, we need somewhere to store it because we can't just work with it directly in Python. So we need a variable to store that entire string. So I'm going to store it in a variable called text. And just think of this like a normal string variable. So what you do is make a variable and set it equal to fr dot read 
And what this is going to do is essentially go to your file, read all of the crap in it, and store it in this variable called text. So now we can just do anything with text that we would with a string variable, such as print, text, or anything else. So whenever we do this, it's going to print out the contents of this file on the screen. And of course, when we're done, remember to close it. Close, and that just closes the file object. So now if we read this, check it out. In this first little chunk of code, we actually created it. And in this next one, we read the information that was in it, the text, all this stuff. And then we just took it, stored it in a variable, and printed it out on the screen. And of course, just to be nice to our computer, we closed it, gave it back its memory. So simple enough, that is how you read and write files. And in the next um, video, what I'm going to show you guys how to do is actually read a text file from somewhere on the internet. And this is actually cool whenever you're like making a bot or a web crawler and you want to crawl a bunch of web pages, get the links and store them in a text file. I'll show you guys how to do that. It's like a really simple version of, um, we're going to be making like a really simple version of Google eventually. And I mean really simple, not anywhere that complex. But anyways, I'll stop rambling now. I'll see you guys later.